today is a sensitive topic. I know I've struggled with the battle um, of Calyx my entire life up till about two years ago. And um, it's painful, honestly, um, for those of you that have it. Um, I'm just here to help you through your dark days. Know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. I want to start off by explaining what a cowlick is. So by definition, a cowlick, a hair, imagine this is your scalp and your hair grows in one direction, but at the crown of your head, it can happen in other places, but mostly at the crown of your head, your hair may grow the opposite direction. So that's a cowlick where the hair is growing in the opposite direction of the rest of your hair, causing that discrepancy in the back of your head. Now, it might be that you don't have a cowlick and you actually have curly hair. I don't actually have a cowlick by definition, but I pretty much treat it like a cowlick. It's basically the same thing. If you have curlier, thicker hair, it will just grow straight out and not really fall down until it's longer. But anyway, we're gonna talk about the solutions that I have for you. So first solution that I have for you guys is actually wear a hat. <sighs> what? Like, it's that easy? No way. Yeah, it is that easy. I did that for <laughs> years. Um, I'd wear a hat like every day because I'd always um, struggle with the cowlick and um, I'd try to slick it down with gel, which you do not want to do. Um, it will always just come back up in the end, you know. You can't really hold it down because its natural state is to stick up. So just slicking it down with gel, walking throughout the day will eventually vibrate it back up into place. I've done that many times and trust me, it does not last. So a hat is an easy way, as easy as it is. I know a lot of people don't want to wear hats. Um, which is why I have another solution for you guys. Fight fire with fire. You might comb your hair whatever way, flat down, and then the cowlick just sticks up in the back, and you try to brush the cowlick down with the rest of your hair, it will always pop back up. So instead, try brushing your hair straight up. You can use gel, a blow dryer, work it into your hair, eliminate the cowlick it will just blend in with the rest of your hair once you spike the rest of your hair up you just need to experiment with like different styles and see what works it's easy to just be set on a certain style and try to make your cowlick work with that style a lot of times you can't do that it just won't work so you need to try other styles that will help to just diminish your cowlick to the best of its ability certain styles like i said spiking it up growing it out are all great ways to deal with the cowlick my final solution for you is if you're open to having a buzz cut i would never do that personally you know it's up to you you can still even have a cowlick with short hair but there are a lot less noticeable so and it all has to be even if you have it longer on top and short on the sides it will still be noticeable so yeah, those are all the tips I have for you guys today, and I hope that at least one of these helped you guys, and if they did, leave a like, subscribe, it really helps the channel. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, and good luck with your Catholic battle. Bye. It's gonna be painful to deal with, you know, I personally used to always do the gel method. No, that's a no-go, do not do that. You slick the hair back on the back of your head. It just it won't work, guys, it won't work. You know, you'll come home later in the day and see that it is back. So, Good luck, and, gu and good luck, and good luck with your cowlick battles, and good luck with your cowlick battles.